Hello guys, I'm still checking in. Um, the other day when I said I want to use my GoPro and go and fly a bit, it is still way too windy for me to feel comfortable taking my glider out flying, and not only my glider, also adding my GoPro on it. Um, so, nope, haven't done that yet. <laughs> it's getting cold in this house, no wonder when this left the door open. And uh, Paul is using the baking machine. He hasn't started, has he? No. Strange. To click then, and he chose. I don't know what he chose. Um. I don't know, maybe he wasn't ready to click it on, or we'll see. Ooh, it's a bit chilly in here. Um, see, the only source of heat we got at the moment is this little fan thingy. And it is getting really cold in Denmark right now. Um, it's just dropping, plummeting down with cold. Um, and also, what I wanted to do, um, I don't know the workshop is open. Paul got the keys, but um, oh, strange, actually warmer outside than in. That is not bloody good, is it? It's warmer out than in. Oh, it's open. Great. Um, I'm going to be starting to put some more decks in the mould, guys, and put some for sale. Um, and uh, what else? What else? Uh, I'm probably going to make about five decks at a time. I downgraded my web shop. I bought so I could have 25 items on it, but it'll be a while before I get 25 decks made um, again. So uh, I think what I will do, make five decks at a time put those up for sale and then when they're sold makes five more um, that's probably it you can see here now this is the deck I made for the kid here uh, I need to add graphics to that um, really really nice shape really really I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very very excited about how my decks come out now they are a great shape and they really are nice to ride I enjoy riding mine this here's a four ply and um, you guys can order custom made decks like if you have a graphic you want to put under I can do that um, I can also try and work out split plies even though split plies is a mo much more tricky for me I am um, I haven't got the knife so I can do curves and stuff like that like what uh, beast pants can do and also what um, primitive decks can do they're really good at doing that especially beast pants he is like he's like the king of split plies basically um, and really really awesome uh, I think he's really great Sadly, I haven't met him in real life. Hopefully next year, he probably will come into Fast Fingers. That could be so cool. Uh, finally meeting up with him. But, um, yeah, you never know. But this is definitely um, a medium deck, which is great. It got, like, great pop. Again, it's only a four-ply because he wanted to have a slightly thinner deck. Um, five plies can get too thick. But looking at this one here, it's actually a very, very good size. Not, like... If I go out in the light, you probably will see you a lot better. So, um, yeah, you can see that. I've got a blue mid-ply. If it'll focus. I'll try to do like all the makeup gurus do. Like hold their hand like that. But it's a nice deck. It's got like a red and blue ply in the middle. And then two of those wooden plies out there. So that's cool. Very cool. As Arnold Schwarzenegger would say. <laughs> um, someone asked me if I could do like... How to make fingerboards. Um, I haven't really made a lot of fingerboard videos, guys, how you can do it. Um, basically, all there is to it is you have to get yourself a mold. Um, these ones here are some I bought. Um, I saved up for those for a long time. And these are made with my own measurements, exactly how I wanted them to be. I got three of those. I got low, low kicks, medium kicks, and high kicks. So you can see I got all three of those, which is nice. I bought those at NFB Moles. Um, if you're just starting out, I would probably not recommend you getting these because they are expensive and a lot of people think that when you make fingerboards Oh, I can make fingerboards. I'm gonna make tons of fingerboards constantly People rarely do um, Because it's just the time of doing that. You're not only just gonna need the molds uh, they, they actually come with templates as well, which is cool You're also gonna need some sort of sanding device unless you're gonna do it in hand which takes forever But this is my sanding device an old lathe which we um, one of my mates has made like this nice thing so I can use that. You're also going to need a drill press to make sure your hole is going to be even and also your countersink. You're going to need 
glue, which is like normal. You're going to need veneer, which you've got there, which can be very hard to find. I mean, you need to get the proper veneer. Like, maple is like the king of veneers, but you can use other grains and stuff like that as well. Um, there are some veneers which are really, really soft wood. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend using those because it's just making the stuff really, really soft. I mean, you can take a dig out of the mold and even though it's dry, you can like twist it like you can like hold in each end and you can warp it uh, even though it's completely dry that's because it's soft wood so that I would not recommend you using um, look for hardwood veneers and make sure you don't get too thick um, test it out by putting it on top of each other you can even try and make a deck to figure out the thickness of them um, you don't want to have too thick decks if you get like veneer which is really thick uh, only try and do four ply decks and remember to cross cross ply. When I say cross ply, you can see here that this wood here, the grains grow that way, all right? Cross ply means you run one layer that way is usually the bottom and top, and you put one the other way, so you have a piece where it's like this but cut that way, so it's going to fill the whole thing but the grains go that way. And then you put another piece if you're going to do five plies, and then another piece and then top piece. If you're going to do four plies, I suggest, I might be wrong on this, but this is how I done it. This is how this is made as well that the um, bottom and top is like the green like that and then two middle plies are like that and um, this is one of them it's like really really strong um, and it really works well then again people can if they want to try to make it the other way you can do that it's just it's completely up to you entirely but I will say to get started making fingerboards instead of buying these molds you can make molds like these um, which I have made. Uh, this is just one half. I can take the complete one out so you can see here. These are handmade completely from scratch. Um, and I got like what? One, two, three, four, four moles in here. This is like the very first moles I made. These are like basically started out like a, t like a tech deck or something like that. And then you made them wider and and stuff like that. So yeah. And you can even see the uh, the holes where to drill, I tried to make those as well and I did that by not putting tape on the tech deck and uh, then making this whole thing wider. It works fine, it's, a, it's still a good mold um, a little bit thin so the decks will be only about 29 millimeters wide but it still works um, and not everybody wants to write 32 millimeters so ooh, I'm rambling for a long time so definitely um, a lot of fingerboards will come up eventually for sale very very soon keep an eye on the website um, which is um, Micah's on uh, Big Cartel. Yeah. Uh, I'm tired. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know, look. Can't see anything. But I can hear it's going. So apparently what I've done is actually made work. It's got 2 hours and 15 minutes till it's done. So you can't see it. Have I got my flashlight anyway? Oh, I've got this one here. That will do. Let's have a look. Ooh, it's a doe, look. It's actually stirring a doe. That looks better than I actually thought it would. Cool. Alright, so the bread mega is done and we're taking out the loaf, which is cool. That's the tray which everything was baking in. And we made us here better. And look, it looks really nice and still very warm, but it's it just looks really good and it also tastes like shea batter it's got a nice crunch to it I'm only grabbing these edges here Ow. but I can't wait to, to try and have some of it it's like a really nice loaf of bread you can see where the hook are that's where the hooks go in for those two things it stirs around but um, yeah nice bread Pitch black outside, but I'm taking Madam out for a little walkie walkie. And you can always say like this Sally, do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. What? Are we going out? Yes, we are. <laughs> so I better get going. So, Paul and I both had a, a couple of slices of that sphere batter. And we had a little just like normal bread with butter on, but it was really nice. But that's not how you normally eat your batter. Your batter, you just take a rip off and eat it with something. I gotta say though, the consistency was not like a sear batter. It was like quite heavy. This bread here, um, 
it was lovely though, but it wasn't as airy as you normally would think a sea abata. Um, but it worked, it tasted nice, it really was nice. So, uh, yeah, the machine is cool, it works fine, the baking machine. <laughs> so that was like fun testing that out. But I'm gonna take uh, Sally out for a little wee now while I have a shower and I'll catch you guys. Well, later today because now it's actually Friday. <laughs> so I'll see you later guys. Peace. Oh, it's mad at